Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, we, uh, we got a, you know, I don't usually follow celebrity news. Because I don't care. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Like, uh, who gives the F that Taylor Swift has a cat, right? I mean, right. I'm super, you know what? I'm sorry. Can I, I meant to do this yesterday, but it was kind of a weird day with the whole Dr. Disrespect thing. Okay. Taylor Swift has a cat? I want, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Taylor Swift has a cat. Uh, I want to say rest in peace to rich homie Quan. Honestly. He died? Yeah, he passed away. Oh, dude. Young, man. 30, 33 what years old. What did he die from? Um, I'm not exactly Drug sure. Drug overdose? Was he shot? Like, uh, No, it wasn't anything violent, I don't think. I think it might have been like a heart issue or something. I'm not sure. You know, the only um, thing I know him from is the Lil Dicky song. Oh, that's fair. Honestly, he was he was one of the premier rappers when I was a little bit younger. I, I used to love him and Young Thug as they were coming up. Uh, James Earl Jones also passed away. Oh, yeah. Voice of uh, Darth Vader. Darth Vader and Mustafa. The sweetest, other than Morgan Freeman, the second sweetest voice of any man on this planet. Yeah, yeah. I, would I hope to... they got a catalog of him speaking so they can... What's the guy in Barbershop that says, you, you got vision? Cedric the Entertainer? No. <laughs> <laughs> People know who I'm talking about. Anyways, he does a bunch of voices. Uh, also, Frankie Beverly died. Frankie Beverly and Mays, sad. Who's um, that? He was a musician. Oh, okay. And uh, Peter Rent Renaday died. The voice of Master Splinter. Oh, damn. Okay. So, you know, well, we don't. Guys. We have some other sad news because an American hero has now been outed. <laughs> what? No. What happened? Did somebody's career you die? No, there's been a man in rock music for a very long time. Billy Joel. Yeah. Ooh, can't wait to go I'm see him in you, a couple months. Bro, if something comes out about BJ. Uh, <laughs> if BJ's out here. <laughs> our man, Dave Grohl. Oh, America's sweetheart, man. Founder of Nirvana. He's been around. He was the founder of Nirvana. Yeah, him and Dave, him and yeah. uh, him and Kurt Cobain. Yeah, wow. he was the drummer of Nirvana. I mean, dude has been in rock music since wow. forever. Wow, I you, I you honestly for, forgot about you that. You forgot he was in Nirvana. <laughs> like honestly, because and you know what that is is that that's because I love the Foo Fighters so goddamn much. The color and the shape was in my CD discman. Forever, forever, bro. I'm um, not even lying. Like I really love the color and the shape. That has probably one of my favorite. Everlong is probably one of my favorite rock songs. Oh, that's dude. That's a good song. It's a f- um, amazing it, song. It. Uh, I don't know if you know this. What's that? Warren, Ohio, down mm-hmm. by Youngstown. He was born there. Yeah, I there's do know actually, that. He's a hometown boy. There's Come actually on. in Warren, Ohio, mm-hmm. downtown. There mm-hmm. is a giant mural of Dave Grohl. Have you ever seen it? I have. Yeah, it's it's wild. I was just down there one day and I was like, "What the hell?" I had to Google it. Oh, um, and that's why, like, he holds a special place in my heart. And you're gonna sit up here and tell me that he did wrong. Uh, I mean, depending who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> so right. he put out a post on Instagram. Like, I don't follow that. I just happen to see it online. I'm just going to read it. Okay. Okay. It says, I've recently become the father of a new baby daughter. Awesome. Good for him. Comma. Born outside of my marriage. I mean, oh, I mean, that's cool. He's a celebrity. You're allowed to do that, right? <laughs> that's what I said. Depends on who you ask. Grab him by the pussy. I plan to be a li- loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children, and I'm doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. Oh, it wasn't an arranged one. We're grateful for your consideration towards all of the children involved as we move forward together. Hash, er, Dosh, Dave. Oh. All I have to say is, there goes my hero. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> there I, thought he was, I thought he had like a Nick Cannon type of thing going. Oh, he's just like, <laughs> he's like, I'm going to have 30 kids from 31. Yeah. I thought he was this white Nick Cannon. No, honestly, <laughs> Jonas, it's beautiful that uh, that he did this in solidarity with uh, trying to repair the relationship with his wife. Oh, no, he did that to save face before somebody else put it out. He, he oh, got ahead of TMZ. Man. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's probably what it is, too. Yeah, because yeah. if he wasn't famous, he wouldn't have done it. That's you know? true. Does this does this ruin Dave Grohl for you? Does this, is uh, this like the end of I him mean, for you? I mean, I'm going to have a hot take. What's that? I'm indifferent about Dave Grohl. You're in. I, I never about really Dave got into. Bro. I never really got into Foo Fighters, bro. We literally just had a whole conversation of talking about his relevance to rock history. And I respect what he's done for the game. 
have you seen the the entrepreneurial and the uh the, the stuff that he's done in the community here comes here comes tnt trying to convince me to be a he Dave fed homer. the homeless did you not see the he also viral... after woman outside his marriage let so, I me mean, look okay the the little girl the black girl with the drums Nothing, nothing there no, nothing there no. all right well oh right. wait where he, he had them come on stage and play with them mm -hmm. oh that was cool i there's did a, see that there's like been a bunch of just like feel good stories now mind you that's just your public oh he's all about feeling good it's obvious listen listen <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into that let me let me build him up before we tear him down a little bit all right? i gotta get both sides Let's build him up. Then we're going to break right, him but down. He, he has done a lot for the community. He's had a lot of viral videos and viral moments. In general, he, he comes across as a very like giving, philanthropic, whatever. Philanthropic, yeah. Philanthropic, philanthropist, whatever. Yeah. So I'm just saying is that he's helped the community. He's shown to be a, such a good person. He's done awesome things. He's changed lives. He is a part of rock history. And... Is, is this his first infraction? I have no idea. I think so. What I want to say is that... Is that every rock star gets one? No. So if you're going to no, say... That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is that everyone deserves one. Everyone deserves everyone one. Everyone deserves one. Now, if he had just stepped outside of his marriage and there was no child involved, we probably don't even hear about this. Am oh yeah, like his wife find out he banged somebody else. Like it'd be like, yeah, they'd be like, they'd be like, they'd have a conversation, whatever. Yeah, they might have a conversation, but they keep it under wrap. They keep it in the family. It doesn't need to go public. I mean, they, this is between I mean us. they might even have an agreement. Yeah, yeah, that too. I mean, I would. Like, here's my thing: if I was like, say, say I, I as a man was married to a famous woman, mm -hmm. and like she was always touring and gone and like whatever. You're married to Taylor Swift. Okay, sure. You know, like, I think it would be kind of like an unspoken, or maybe a spoken thing where you're like, hey, we're not together all the time. If something were to happen, you know, I, I, I get it. I feel like a lot of celebrities where, where have kind of an open thing going because it's like, we're never together. We can't be intimate. We have sexual yeah. needs. I like, mean, I mean, I don't know if they're going on tour necessarily as much as they did back in the day, like before he had the kids and everything. But, but if he not, they're still down. busy. They're traveling. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, doing, yeah. they're doing, uh, like these, these viral moments that we see him in are, they're placed by his publicists. Like, see, so he oh, talks yeah. to a guy and they're like, yeah, you go to the dog show. We'll make sure we leak it to TMZ. Right. And then right. it goes and then it goes where it goes. Right. So he's so, still in the end. Industry. So it's it's entirely and like athletes. I mean, it's entirely mm -hmm. possible they're like, hey, I'm gonna be your, do. I'm gonna be your wife, I'm gonna be your husband. I sit here on the money, right? I take <laughs> care of the house, and you, whatever you do when you're on the road is what you do when you're on the yeah, road. But when yeah. you come home, you're, you know, I'm your person, right? Yeah. Like, and even she can have she can have access to what she wants to do as well. I mean, Lord knows. I mean, I'm not against like open relationships and mm -hmm. like what I mean. Do your thing, man. If what do what you want to do. Yeah. But if you have a baby with your mistress, even if your wife is okay with it, that looks bad. I honestly Drake. think I think that he's taking the best route possible. Though. Oh, as soon as as soon as he informs the wife, or you know, at least they agreed upon a time, he comes out with it publicly. Yep, says that he's working on a relationship. He's also said that he's going to be looking after the child and making sure that it is. I mean, that his son is or daughter or whatever is taken care of. So. I mean, I don't know how. How else do you handle? I it? mean, there are ways away because he said, "My daughter." You don't. Even, you can't even find out what kind of baby it is for a while during pregnancy. Yeah, so. that's true. But uh, but no, man, it's it's. I agree but, because here's the thing, man. We're all human. We all f up. We all make bad decisions. I mean, this is a pretty big f up. Well, <laughs> you're, I mean, yeah. Well, but but here's the thing. Maybe he they had an agreement where it was okay, and the yeah. condom broke. I mean, there could have there's a oh! you know whatever. But here's the thing. If, if you mess up, whether you mess up at your job, whether you mess up in life, the best thing you can do is go, hey, I messed up. I'm sorry. I'll do better. That's big and that's it. And then, and then what else can anybody say? Because most yeah. of the time people come at you because you haven't told anyone. You're trying to hide it. You're ashamed of it. But if you're just like, hey, I messed up. Like, I've, like at work, I've messed up a bunch over, over the years. And what I always do, sorry, man, that's my bad. I did it. I'll fix it. Accountability. I'll get better. And like, what what can they say other than like, try not to do it again? Like, I just told Ooh. you I was going to try not to do it again. Yeah, like, for, it's like an apology is goes one or two ways. 
you know, and they either accept it or they don't, or they partially do, I guess. Right. Yeah, man. It's... <laughs> they lie to themselves and tell you they've accepted it, but they really haven't. Right. You know, that's yeah. a possibility. Right, right, right. But yeah, I don't know, man. So, you know, good. Well, it, it, it's family. also a really easy way to diffuse a situation, right? Like yeah. if like, if you're in a fight with your girlfriend and she's like, you did this, you did that. And like, and you're just like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm genuinely sorry that I did that. Like what ammo do they have to just keep coming at you with what you did right it's like they'll find a way <laughs> trust I mean, me yeah they but will it, find you know, a way or it's like you know it's like the we but you look at like um you look at like baseball players and steroids mm. people like roger clemens comes out and goes hey i did steroids i'm sorry alex rodriguez i did steroids i'm sorry they, they're all they're all accepted they're in the hall of fame barry bond the guy who still to this day does not admit doing steroids he's not in the hall of fame because they're like we all know you it's like it's like we all know you did it bro you should have just said i'm sorry but you're gonna stand on the hill that you didn't do it like yeah yeah okay never never stand your ground man i'm not mad <laughs> right anyway i'm so, kind of not mad at it man but uh like die with that in your heart he's forever. like bring me the paper <laughs> proof and then i'll say i'm sorry like i ain't gonna yeah whatever but anyways you got anything else because we out the time no let's go all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Joe Nuts. TNT. Hope you out.